Thank you very much for joining us here on KV.com. I'm joined by Mr. Philip Meyer and Mr. Kevin Murphy here to talk about AMC's The Sun. And Mr. Meyer, I have your book here, New York Times bestseller. Can you introduce us to the world that we're going to be seeing on screen today? Yeah, sure thing. Uh, so both the book and the TV show are about the uh, Texas family. We follow them from the early Indian fighting days of the Texas, you know, the 1840s, up until the modern era. So you kind of see their rise as like a struggling frontier family. They become a kind of a cattle dynasty, then they become kind of a modern big Texas family. And Mr. Murphy, what got you in on the project that kind of got you interested in being, because you're listed as an executive producer, well, you're both of you actually are listed as EPs on the show. What so Kevin's you? a showrunner, so we, yeah. we uh, along with a couple of friends of mine from UT, we, we developed this project with AMC for a long time. We finally realized none of us had any idea what we were doing other than writing, so they brought in Kevin, who's been, you know, he's been showrun a ton of our shows, he has a huge amount of experience. Yeah. Uh, look at your bios and your extensive works. Mm -hmm. um, what brought me to the show is the book. Um, I was, uh, uh, AMC had just greenlit a uh, writer's room, and I was uh, asked to give it the material, so I read the script, and I uh, read the book, and I thought maybe I was going to read a chapter or two, just because, you know, it was a friend that asked me to do it, and uh, I ended up reading the whole damn book. And it was just really uh, transformative, and uh, I became a big believer in wanting to help this get uh, on the screen. So uh, we put together a writer's room, I signed on, uh, we hired writers, and we wrote seven scripts, and we did budgets, and uh, we, we did some casting documents, we did an overall uh, arc for the season, the big pitch to the network, and uh, then we waited for two months, and the AMC said, okay, go make your show. Right. And this was filmed in Central Texas yeah. in the middle of summer. That's right. <laughs> what, what, what else do you film in Texas but in the middle yeah, of summer? We, we were looking for the uh, the best time to film, and they, people someone told us the summer. Well, you get the most daylight in summer, daylight yeah, saving true. time now started we, Sunday. So. We, uh, unfortunately, uh, yeah, you, when you, everyone's on a schedule, the network needs to put the thing on the air at a certain time, and it came up and we were going to shoot in the summer, and you know, I've lived in Texas for you know, 10, 15 years. And I was telling Kevin, oh man, this is going to be really hard on everyone, but that, that was when we had the time to shoot, so, so we did. But uh, for season two, we're going to be moving into fall. All so, right, so, yeah. so we've, already, we've already confirmed season two. Well, please. if there is a season two, but uh, yeah. yeah. I've, I've seen the previews. I'm, I'm partway through the book. I got my fingers crossed here. Yeah. I'm like, the novel so far. I'm looking forward to the show. Who are we going to be seeing in the show, uh, casting-wise? Well, uh, Pierce Brosnan, obviously, is, uh, is, is our number one on the call sheet. And uh, we feel really, really lucky to have him because he brings the goodwill that he has accumulated over many, many years of playing uh, players that people love, and audiences instantly identify with him and root for him, which allows the character of Eli, who does some pretty terrible, scurrilous things, to still own the audience's sympathy. And I think that's really important, for, and it allows us to go darker, and it allows us to go um, to more extreme places with the character, because uh, we have a reliable uh, guide with Pierce. Uh, we also have uh, Zon McQuarnan, who's best known uh, for uh, his role in Fargo. Um, he's, uh, he, he, he plays Toshaway, who is the, uh, the surrogate father to young Eli. Comanche chief. Uh, young Eli is played by Jacob Laughlin, who uh, was Nick Bone in Mud, and he was in the Maze Runner movies. Yeah. Arkansas uh, boy. So he's good. So he's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. um, we have uh, Henry Garrett, who plays Pete. Um, who has not really done much American television. He's done a lot of uh, really interesting character roles in the UK, but it's going to be a fresh face for, uh, for this audience. Uh, we also have the amazing uh, Sydney Lucas, who is a Tony nominee for Fun Home. She played the young version of uh, Alice Lefdell, which I hope I didn't mangle the pronunciation of her name. Uh, and uh, yeah, I saw her on Broadway doing the part, and she's just yeah, astounding. Yeah, yeah. And she, she's just, uh, she's, she brings an amazing presence to the character of Jeannie. And talking about awards, I know you have an, I believe you have an Emmy I win. I do have an Emmy. Emmy win, Pulitzer Prize nominee for this novel. Yeah, I was runner up, so. You still got nominated. That's, <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. good. That's yeah. pretty impressive. I know, I know. Resume. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. this, is, this is actually your second novel. You have a few yeah. short stories published. American yeah. Rust was the first one yeah. that took place. And I was reading online doing some background for this. That one may be a feature film soon? Yeah, that one we're actually developing as a show. That's oh. Saved, oh, yeah, that other group of guys are awesome. So, yeah, it was going to be developed um, as a feature. They, it was optioned. They attached a director and a 
screenwriter and the reason this project came to, to Dean is that he wasn't consulted that much on that project, the, the first book adaptation. I thought after this one, you know, maybe I can write and produce and, and have like a real control of the material. So that was the, you know, that was the sort of the, the lack of say in the adaptation of my first book, which luckily I never shot, was the reason I thought, well, maybe for the second book I can figure out a way to wriggle my way into the process and have some say. And do you have a third book on the way? Are you working on one? Is your main focus on this? Uh, I, I've been working on a third book for about five years, but I did about two years of book tour internationally. The song was translated in about 25 languages, so I was overseas all the time. And then between that and working on this project, it's owing the last four years. So finally getting to work on a, a couple years late on a novel that my publisher has already paid for. Me, so, um, but yeah, that and that is my other projects too. So. Things are suddenly very busy. I'm waiting, I was hoping things would be peaceful for a while. And do you have another project in the works after this one? Or? Uh, yeah, my, my wife uh, adapted uh, a uh, children's book that we love. And actually, while we were shooting The Sun, it was one that we were reading to our son, even though we were in different cities. And uh, I'm going to adapt that as a feature. Oh, very nice. Um, are you able to say what it is? Or? No, I don't want to say what it is. Okay, I'm going to have to wait <laughs> on that one. And the premiere is Sunday night at South by Southwest. If you can't make it to the premiere, when are people going to be able to see the show? April 8th on AMC. And we're simulcast on uh, on Sundance Channel. And we're going to show the first two episodes on like a normal show you see one at a time. We're, you're you're going to get to see about two hours of the, of the show. Yeah, I think a lot of people are looking forward to it, myself included. Mr. Philip Meyer, Mr. Kevin Murphy, thank you very much for joining us here on Thanks, Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Try some things. All right, good work. <laughs> <laughs>